Today would be a fun day in the halls of UA. Today would be the day that you could cause mayhem with an excuse. It was April Fool's, so why not use it to its fullest? We should play a prank on Bakugo. Ah, it would be funny to see him blow up after all, suggested Kaminari, smiling giddily in the early morning sun. Well, it should be harmless, started Kirishima, speaking quietly in the common room. Or else he'll surely find a way to kill us all. <laughs> Kirishima was right, despite his friendly grin as well. Hmm, what do we know would piss him off? Mina fiddled with her hair until her eyes widened with a smile. If the shine of mischief wasn't enough to earn everyone's interest... Mina rubbed her hands together, smiling sinisterly. <laughs> What's the Queen of Mean thinking of? With that reaction, it should be good. You reasoned. Mina certainly never created dull ideas. They mostly made the rest of you run away from teachers in laughter. <laughs> he seems to hate the nicknames we give him. Mina started. Her grin still present. Especially the one Midoriya calls him. Everyone in the common room, Kaminari, Sero, Kirishima, and even Jiro looked at each other in both worry and absolute enjoyment. <laughs> Let's get the rest of the class involved, Kaminari snickered, already imagining the ensuing chaos that their actions would bring. Everyone agreed, nodding, standing from their seats before they split up to the rest of the class in the dorms, launching their second stage of their harmless prank. Morning, Kajan! greeted both Kaminari and yourself in unison as the both of you walked into the classroom together. Bakugo glared at the both of you while heading towards your seats, meeting up with Mina and Sero. Huddled together, all of you began to converse with each other out of earshot from Bakugo. <laughs> he looks like my phone on vibrate. <laughs> you giggled quietly. Surely enough, Bakugo was visibly shaking a bit, as if his body alone couldn't contain whatever amount of anger he had. It was obvious that a few classmates have already greeted him in the same fashion, Mina and Sero included. When's Kirishima getting here? And Midoriya? They surely would make things interesting. <laughs> Kaminari chuckled. Well, I hope he doesn't blame Midoriya for the whole thing, you know? We gotta make sure Bakugo doesn't lay a hand on him when all of this is said and done. Sarah mumbled under his breath. All of you agreed. Sai Kachan! Greeted both Midoriya and Kirishima simultaneously. If Bakugo hadn't reached his limit of anger yet, surely he would be very soon. Oh, spoke a monotone voice. Hello, Kachan. I see you're shaking. Cold? The anger that bubbled and brewed within Bakugo took a new turn as he glared at Todoroki, whom entered into the classroom. Yes, you all even managed to rope Todoroki into the madness. If you and your friends were going to pull a prank, the least you could do was to make it as memorable as possible for everyone involved. Would all of you regret this decision when Bakugo would inevitably catch you all outside of class? Maybe. Damn. Damn. Damn you all. Sputtered Bakugo, his body shaking violently in his seat. The sound of small explosions popped in his hands, almost as if it was his form of a stress ball. <laughs> Kachan! How are you feeling? You're more shaken up than that soda we bought the other day. Mina commented with a sly smile, enjoying Bakugo's silent torment. Bakugo made for a perfect target on this day. 
In all honesty, you found it cute how much he was attempting to keep his cool around these antics, when in reality he was struggling not to hurt anyone. His flushed red face didn't help your judgement. After class had ended for the day, Bakako trudged out with a stomp in his step. Everyone had been calling him that nickname all day. Shitty hair, half and half, even round face came up to him and greeted him. The whole day was riding on his nerves, and he couldn't contain his explosions any longer. Hey, Kachan! Broski! What's on you? Kirishima started but was quickly interrupted by a sharp tongue and a scowl. Bakugo quickly turned to his friend, his eyes sharp and his voice dripping with venom. Who's behind all of this? If you say it fast enough, I'll be gentle with you when I beat you up with the rest of those extras. Bakugo spat, glaring down at the redhead with a fiery rage. Uh, uh, uh I, uh, um... Uh, uh, Say it now. Uh, what's coming, Ari? Me and Sarah, and Traveler. Sorry about that. I couldn't stop them in time. <sighs> Bakugo snarled before he stomped his way towards the dorms. Now on the warpath. Uh, I hope they're ready. Kirishima mumbled before he followed suit, catching up to his friend and internally praying for the safety of the others. Everyone sat around the couches in the common room, relaxing after a good day of mischief and recounting all the times Bakugo looked like he was about to explode throughout the day. Luckily for all of you, he didn't react too much. However, this begged to question. You think Bakugo's going to go nuts if he sees us here? Asked Kaminari, piquing everyone's attention. Um, not sure, you replied. He looked... in control? <laughs> I'm sure he'll be- Which one of you extras started this? All eyes turned to the front of the door of the dorms, finding Bakugo's raging aura enter through with Kirishima behind him sheepishly. Uh, sorry guys, he got me. So, which one of you is it? Bakugo spat, his hands glowing with tiny explosions in his palms. Suddenly, all fingers pointed towards you, as if this was pre-planned earlier amongst everyone else, but yourself. What? You exclaimed. No, I didn't! Your wrist was roughly grabbed by Bakuko, pulling you from the couch and taking you away from the common room, from the safety of others. As you passed Mina, she grinned sheepishly. Take one for the team! She spoke quietly with a thumbs up, emphasizing her point. Mina! You yelled, before Bakugo continued to yank your arm towards the kitchen. Once the both of you arrived, Bakugo released your wrist, his eyes glaring down at you with distaste. You laughed nervously, thinking of any way to attempt to fill the silence in any way possible. Um... <laughs> Uh, if I didn't know any better, I think this was a confession scene. Uh. You thought, gulping nervously. Explain. Now. Bakugo tapped his foot impatiently, waiting for you to speak. You were still silent, unable to explain without pointing the blame on someone else. How about this? You tell me the truth. And I won't beat your sorry ass. Um... Uh, April Fools? You replied with a shrug and a nervous smile. The look on Bakugo's eyes fell. What was once anger was replaced by a moment of confusion. But that didn't last long. What? It's April Fools Day, so everyone decided to play a prank to make the day fun. We thought playing one on you would do the trick. After all, all we do is study and train and, well, I'd rather have some fun. <laughs> Bakugo still stared at you, 
his usually scrunched up features now turning soft and calm in the evening light. He clicked his tongue and started to walk away, leaving you in the kitchen. Be glad. I wasn't going to beat you up anyways, was all he said. Eh? You stood there, dumbfounded, turning to see his back. Wait! Uh, 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 Don't call me that again, he stated, stopping and turning towards you briefly with a scowl still on his face. He then exited the kitchen, leaving you to your devices. You sighed in relief, laughing under your breath. Was it all worth it in the end? Definitely. <laughs>